I call it the perfect solar storm. This is Corey Powell here. Experts warn that a massive solar storm is set to erupt right here, and the devastation could total as much as $2 trillion. Corey Powell, editor-at-large, Discover Magazine. Hello, my friend. Hello. Um, let's get the first image up, if we could, the one that shows planet Earth relative to the surface of the sun. Because planet Earth is way down here in the bottom left-hand corner, right. and the sun is massive. How do we know? Here is right here, right? Right. Earth that, to scale. Right. There's, that little there's thing. that Earth. So how, how come folks like you are so worried about solar flares in 2013? Well, so we know from watching the sun for hundreds of years, the sun goes through an 11-year cycle, being relatively quiet, very active, and violent. Uh, 2013 is the peak of that 11-year cycle. So we know, like, almost like clockwork, every 11 years you go through a bad period, and each 11 years, as we have more technology, we have more satellites, we can depend more on our electrical infrastructure, we're more vulnerable. If we get hit with a solar flare, what does that do to us? What, what does it do to our technology? What does it do to our civilization? Right, so what you're looking at here, uh, the, the sun, th this, is, this is million degree plasma coming out of the sun. Million. Million degree. Uh, coming out at 300 to 500 miles per second. Um, it travels through space, it hits the Earth, and actually the biggest thing that it does is, it, this is all, it's, a, it's all magnetized. The Earth is kind of a magnet. It wiggles everything, and that makes electrical currents that go crazy everywhere. So it can lead to blackouts, it can overload your satellites, it can fry radio transmissions and GPS transmissions. That's happened so that's, on a small that's scale before. Talk about the trillion dollars in damage. 1859, apparently Earth was hit by a doozy. But that was long before we had the technology that we do today. Exactly. So, I, Is that even a possibility if you go back 150 years ago and think that we could be hit again like that with no warning? We actually, we actually know that that happens. You can go back and look through, uh, actually you look through glaciers, and glaciers record different times in the past when, when these things happened. Actually, the, the evidence of it gets buried in the ice. So we know this happens every 300, 500 years. So the last one was 150 years ago. It could happen 100 years from now. It could also happen tomorrow. And the one, you know, the, these flares, believe it or not, that one's actually not so bad. That, that's, that's, one, that's an okay one. That's, that's an okay one. That's, that's one that actually didn't cause a whole lot of trouble. The one that happened in 1859 was maybe like 100 times that. So this is the flare that comes off the sun right here and it bursts toward Right, so th this thing Mercury. here, right, this is, you know, this is 30 times the size of the Earth. This is a small one. The one from 1859 this is, th think about, you know, there was very little technology back then. It was so intense that telegraphs around the world were sparking and setting off fires. Really? Now imagine you do that with your GPS satellites and your cell phones and, and all the things that we have today. You could have a global blackout. So we got that to look forward to. Does this keep you up at night, yes or no? You know what, it, you know, th no. This, this, kind, this, kind of, this, no. this kind of flare doesn't, you know what it keeps me up at night? What gets me up at night is that, is that I know that sometime in the next, in my lifetime, and probably within, you know, maybe within the next 10 or 20 years, there is going to be a countrywide blackout. And I don't, you know, we're going to survive it, but th imagine hospitals blacked out, transportation shut down, all your computers, all your smartphones shut down. So yeah, that actually, that, that does really worry me. Be a lead story. Thank you, Corey. Martha. Joining me now is F. Michael Maloof, former security policy analyst in the office of the Secretary of Defense and author of the book, A Nation Forsaken, EMP, The Escalating Threat of an American Catastrophe. Michael, welcome. Thank you. Uh, just to define terms, electromagnetic <clears throat> magnetic pulse. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an, ex an intense burst of electromagnetic uh, particles 
uh, that come descending on down and that can absolutely destroy all of our electronics if they're unprotected. Isn't um, back in the 80s the the northeastern power grid shut down one day and nobody mm -hmm. knew why mm -hmm. and it turned out later it was a bunch of particles coming from the sun, as mm -hmm. I recall. Yep. Isn't that a kind of a mini example of EMP? Well, we have a, a mini EMP could be from a solar burst. Uh, we're, we're now going through one of our most intense periods, 11-year uh, cycle of the sun. And uh, NASA has raised all kinds of concerns about that, especially if we were to get a direct hit. They're estimating that the cost could be upwards of $2 trillion, uh, affect about 164 million people, take four to 10 years to recover if we get a direct hit. Wow. And that's, and that's basically it comes out of a sunspot and so yes. it just, it's like yes. the, the sun is blowing it out somewhere in that 360 well, degrees and if we happen to wander through that. Exactly. If it comes from approximately the middle of the sun, it could uh, result in a direct hit on, on Earth. Some of these solar flares can be two to three times larger than the Earth itself. Wow. And what would it do? It will uh, fry your electronics. You see, the United States is, is a technology-based society, whether it's our uh, uh, internet, our telecommunications. We have very critical infrastructures. They're all dependent upon electronics, the national grid system, our, our health care, our, our uh, uh, food and water distribution. All of that could be uh, basically nixed out. We also have uh, uh, automatic control systems which guide our, our, our in industry, our, our commerce, uh, our pipelines. Uh, those would be affected. They're highly vulnerable. They're all, uh, they're all electronically based. And if they're not protected, the consequences would be uh, uh, astronomical. It would be a catastrophe. It but would basically throw us back to the 19th century. Yeah. But when the electricity goes out, the water goes out, the, the sanitation systems everything, go out. Um, we couldn't go without very, very long. That's remarkable. My, F. Michael Maloof, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate, appreciate it. it.